Well, stocks all over the map today. The Dow with its biggest intraday swing since early January. So with new uncertainty over trade, uh, uncertainty over possible congressional investigations in the White House, are we ready to start more of these wild swings? Let's ask market watchers Melissa Armo and Jonas Max Ferris. Melissa, um, yeah, we knew this day had to come. <laughs> the market's been on amazing, uh, you know, straight up for a long time. But are you now concerned that now that it has happened, we can start to see more of this sort of crazy volatility? I expected this. So my market outlook for 2019 in January, I anticipated that there would be volatility based on one of the unresolved issues for this year, which is the Democratic resistance. The, one of the reasons we sold off in December was after they took control of the House. And now they're going after Trump. I mean, you could could have looked at it in a one-minute chart today when that news came out and the market fell and broke the lows and sank and just sold off. You're going to see more of this this year. Now, we've had a great run-up here ever since December 26, and even the first two months of the year were solid like a brick. But now you're going to see more volatility because the Democrats are going after Trump. And like it or not, whatever your political affiliation, the market likes Trump. And we don't want to see any of this craziness going after him. And I will say one more thing. The Democrats are doing this. They did the, the and Mueller investigation and didn't come up with anything. Now they're going after him with these political things here. How stupid do they think the American people are? The American people are not stupid. They're going to see right through this. Yeah, but you're saying they're not stupid by the same token. You're also saying that the market is concerned about this. So, of course. So J Jonas, and, and all this on the day where it's almost everyone is convinced that this U.S.-China trade deal is done. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons the market came back this year, anticipation of that getting done and if it doesn't get done, that wouldn't be good for the markets. If it comes out a lot better than we expected, we get even more out of this, then it could go higher. You could say it's a little volatile also like it was last year. The market's kind of high right now. It needs not to be a global economic slowdown. It needs interest rates to not go higher. It needs a lot of things to happen to continue to go under records. That's going to add a little so, volatility. So then uh, to that point, was President Trump right to talk about interest rates again uh, at CPAC over the weekend? or? You know, some people on Wall Street get uncomfortable when he calls out. He didn't call out Jay Powell by name. He did call him the gentleman. But, uh, you know, because uh, he, he stopped does, raising rates. Does, does President Trump foresee the need to sort of get in front of the Fed to make sure that they don't mess up this economy, Melissa? Well, you know, Trump's going to do what Trump's going to do. I think they're on a good level playing field, though. They had the meeting. Things are going good. That's another one of the unresolved issues for the market as well this year for 2019. If rates get raised too soon, too quick, too fast. But I think the Fed backed off and the market liked that. And that's one of the reasons we've had this beautiful rally. I mean, if you look at it, we're only 5% off the highs. That's fantastic when you look at where we were in the middle of December, even the end of the year before we started rallying. I think the stock switch tip of the day for today is focus on strong stocks right now while the market's volatile. That's right. ultimate. Boeing, Netflix, Starbucks even. Stocks that just have made recent brand new all-time highs that are moving ahead of the market. So you don't get caught up in this, all this craziness well, that's going on right now. A lot of those stocks just get stronger. Someone put a $500 target exactly. on Boeing today. But, you know, uh, investors have been on a wild ride. Um, we peaked in October, October 3rd. We swooned in December. Uh, a lot of people are talking recession. It did not materialize, Jonas. And now we've gone straight up. This is not a market that typically goes sideways. So uh, we're buckling up uh, because because, the, you know, people are concerned that the next leg could be down. Right. Well, the, what happened last year, the original question about Trump is the, the Federal Reserve almost caused a recession. That's almost what happened. He got off, the Federal Reserve got off the raising rates train and the market recovered. That was the primary reason for the slide. The president was early and right about rates were too high. Uh, at this point, rates are about where they should be unless the economy slows again, if the, if the Federal Reserve... Do you want to see them stop quantitative tightening, uh, to, uh, taking money out of the economy, $50 billion a month? Do you want to see them pause on that, too? I think that should have happened a long time ago. And at this stage, with the global ec economy week, I think just for, just to reassure investors, they need to chill out with right. that, basically. I'm not like an MMT, you know, right. moderate, but I think you need to allow... I love when you lose those Wall Street terms. <laughs> Fed, you need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both very much. Appreciate it. Dissent on Capitol Hill. Republican Senator Rand Paul saying he will vote against President Trump's national emergency. The question is, will more Republicans follow suit?